Could this blood filter that is not yet FDA approved save our sickest COVID-19 patients? You know, TMJ4 is committed to bringing you stories like this in our series, The Rebound, Milwaukee. This morning, our Julia Fellow shares how southeastern Wisconsin patients' lives have been saved from an experimental treatment. Dr. Lucian Durham with Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin is on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic. He has seen patients' bodies taken over by this virus to the point they go into multiple organ failure. You can see where it becomes a spiral and the people just die from it. To combat COVID-19, he is using an experimental blood filter called Cytosorb on a few patients, specifically those on heart and lung bypass machines. The device filters molecules that cause inflammation in your body out of your blood. It's not much bigger than the filter, say, on your refrigerator, but it's got the um, surface area of a soccer field. It's got these micro beads in it. They absorb and bind the inflammatory mediators, different what you hear, the cytokines. In theory, this should stop organs from going into irreversible failure. He says it has worked on all three patients he has treated. It's all a difference within the first 12 hours. The blood pressures were stabilizing, organ function improved, and that correlated with the lab values that we were following that had been going up, and then they started going down. Cytosorb is not yet approved by the FDA, but the federal agency allows doctors to use experimental treatments right now on the sickest patients. Dr. Durham says this is not a cure, but a way to stop the symptoms. He has a warning for those who have not contracted the virus. It's the real deal, uh, and I'm as big a cowboy as anybody, but it is something you have to take seriously. The real message is people need to seek out medical care because it accelerates much more quickly than we ever thought. Here is your rebound rundown. Cytosorb is an experimental blood filter being used on the sickest patients. It has so far helped three patients, but still needs FDA approval for more widespread usage. And Dr. Durham says we may not know the long-term effects on a COVID-19 patient's lungs for another six months to a year after that patient has recovered. Reporting Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News. Julia, thank you. So again, this device is called Cytosorb and has been used for several years on more than 80,000 patients in Europe, primarily dialysis patients. If you would like to learn more about this device and how it works, you can head to TMJ4.com rebound and just click on doing what's right.